Hey guys, welcome to Battery Buggy. This is uh, Coach Mayur. Uh, sorry, we couldn't meet uh, over this weekend. I know everyone had some schedule conflicts and uh, eventually I did too. So apologize for that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start getting organized. Uh, I hope everybody has made a Science Olympiad folder. If you have not, you must. Uh, all I, and also I want you to do is, what I want you to do is print out the rules from the PDF document and I've attached that in the email. Uh, pages 6, 7, and 8 have the rules for battery buggy, so get that, put that into your folder. Also include some few blank pages, a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser, because we're going to use all of this to take notes, draw some diagrams, and build some models. Alright, so let's get started. So we want to know what is the battery buggy made up of. So what do you think are some of the major components that the battery buggy would be made up of? Now you, you've seen a lot of cars. Now in a car there is a central body which is called as the chassis. So the battery buggy needs to have a central body which is the chassis which can, which can be made of different types of materials. Obviously in addition to the chassis we would have to connect wheels to the chassis or to the body for the battery buggy or the car to be able to move. So we've got uh, pairs of wheels in the front and wheels in the back and along with the wheels there's the axle that's the central part over there that connects the wheels to the chassis. Alright now how does this battery buggy well its name is battery so that's the source of the energy so we need to include a battery pack to, to, to energize or provide the energy for that. In addition to that, we're going to need a driving force, which is provided by the motor. So the motor provides the driving force that, that propels the vehicle or the battery buggy in the forward direction. There is a start switch. And then attached to the motor are the gears and the pulley system which connects the motor to the axle and the wheel. So as the motor rotates, the wheels will also rotate and thus the battery buggy will be pushed forward. Finally, there is another component that we have to look at which is called the dovel. The dovel is like a stick that you have to attach at the front of the vehicle and all of the measurements for the scoring are done uh, based on the position of the dovel itself. So there are some rules around the dovel that we would have to look at so that we get the exact uh, size and the location where the dovel is supposed to be put. So if you look at this diagram, uh, you know now all the key components that go into the making of the battery buggy. What I want you to do is use Google on your iPhones or Android phones or iPads or computers and learn more about each of these components. So you think uh, our battery buggy is ready for a test drive? Well, we haven't built one, but hey, at least in this animation we have, here you go, we go for a test drive. Now that we have test driven, at least in the animation, uh, let's look at the rule book. Uh, I know this is somewhat boring, but hey, we got to look at it. So take a printout, go through these three pages of rules. Yeah, there's a lot of rules around battery buggy. So I want you to go through this in detail. Take a pencil and a highlighter and then start underlining or highlighting all of the key rules that you find out as you read through this detailed rules uh, within that within the PDF. All right. Now there will be rules around the actual construction of the battery buggy. Also, there are different rules around the track and how the track is designed. So we would understand where to accelerate the vehicle, where to decelerate, where to apply the brakes, etc. And then there is also a lot of rules around. The actual scoring so we could you know win points uh, for speed we lose points if we are too further away from the track and the target distance and then if there are penalties that are applied uh, if we didn't follow any of the rules 
and there is a bonus section where we get some bonus points as well. So we'll learn more about that later on. But for now, I want you to go through each of these rules and make some notes. All right. So good luck reading through this PDF and I hope you enjoy the animation. Bye.